In this video, we're going to use our calculator to find area between two curves again. And so we've got uh, finding the area between a parabola and a line. So we go ahead and type in into our calculator. I put the line first and the parabola second. It doesn't really matter uh, which one is which. Uh, and then I'm going to zoom six just to get the, a normal picture. Um, so let's zoom six that. And let's see, we get the line and we get the parabola. Now the first thing I want to point out is the left intersect point is off screen. Uh, that means that uh, our y-axis appears to not be tall enough. So let's go ahead and maybe change our window and let's change that y-max from 10. Let's, let's go ahead and try 15 and see if that works better. So now we're sketching our line and our parabola and notice this time we see both intersect points. Well, let's find some intersect points. So second trace to our calc menu. Option five is intersect. This time I'm going to find the leftmost point first. So I'm going to get a little bit to the left. I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to get a little bit to the right. I'm going to hit enter. And I'm not going to guess. And I get negative two comma 11. So I'm going to go ahead and write down both those values. Always a good idea to write down both values because you may need the y value later on some problems. Now let's go ahead and find the rightmost bound. So again, back to our calc menu, option five. We want to be a little bit to the left, not too close to the other one though. And then we want to be to the right. And we don't want to guess, so hit enter again, 3 comma 6. So now we know that we're going to set up our integral from negative 2 to 3. Uh, again, we need our topmost function minus our bottommost function dx. Staring at our graph, uh, clearly the line is the top or outermost function. The parabola is the bottom function. So now we're ready to go ahead and type in 9 minus x. And we're going to have x squared minus 2x plus 3. Now we want to write this out because AP is going to look for that and they're going to give us points for that. So now let's go ahead and go to uh, math 9. So let's get out of our graph and do math 9. And our bottom bound is negative 2. Our top bound is positive 3. Uh, first function, 9 minus x. Notice it gets its own set of parentheses. Uh, minus second function also gets its own set of parentheses. x squared minus 2x plus 3. Close that parenthesis. Go over and put in your dx. And you get 20.833333. That looks somewhat familiar. I'm going to see if that isn't a fraction. Math 1. And it is 125 over 6. Remember, if you have a slightly older version of the calculator, you're going to see finint. And you should put in the function, comma, x. Now, in this case, our function is this right here. And then our lower bound, so that would be negative 2. Our upper bound would be 3. And we would get the same answer.